What's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. In this video, you will find a lot of free education. Make sure to subscribe because every week I share some free education here on my YouTube channel. Now, as you know, I'm mainly a smart money trader. My strategies are based on smart money, but we need to talk about it for a second. Smart money it's, has great concepts, but at the same time, as you know, 90% of traders are still losing money. And you might wonder why they're still losing money. Of course, psychology has a role in this, but also I will say that smart money by itself is not something that makes you profitable. The concepts are great, but by itself, they don't make you profitable. Actually, constructing and developing a system that works and has an edge on the market is what really makes the difference. I hope that you can really find the information that you need in order to become successful just by looking at my free channel, but at the same time, in the description below, you can find the links to actually join my course. My course, both the 1.0 and also the 2.0 is included with any membership from the monthly all the way to the lifetime or also there is the option to have some one-on-one -on -one lessons. So make sure to check my website and then I'll see you on the video. Uh, yeah. We have strong move to the downside here, breaking structure, coming back to supply and then having a push to the downside. Now, this push, I don't know what happened after because um, no. I can't see if we can go up. But anyway, the main, the main reason is that we still had this push to the downside, which yeah. is on the one hour. And if we start looking at lower time frames, we might already have a very good trade just with this push. We don't need to go all the way down. This no. is already a good rejection. So yeah, really good. Now let me see the other pictures. They sent me. So here are some trends. Okay, trend lines are not really my favorite to use. For example, here, but here is great break. Yeah. This is great breaking structure to the outside after breaking structure. What does price do? This yeah. is a strong move to the downside, right? Yeah. And then price just come after breaking the structure comes back to the order block mm. and continues basically as the strong push down retraces continue. If you keep it there, if you look closely in this, the same that happened here in a bigger scenario happened also here in a smaller thing which you know we break structure slightly over there and then yeah. we and then we come back again to supply okay and we continue yeah so in both cases uh these were good trades aligned with the trend so the main reason is that to start from here start from here you have pushed through on so breaking structure you're like okay we are bearish i want to enter sales you find supply and you, and you enter. Possibly you can have re-entries after confirmation. This is confirmation right here. Yeah. Breaking to the downside and again supply. Um, so this yeah. is very good. Here's DJPY, one hour. You have pushed the downside. Okay, 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 perfect um the trade overall is good because you hit profit basically overall we will need to check the four hours if we are actually um <clears throat> we are actually bearish in order to enter because if you just look at this time frame you're like okay this makes sense we are bearish we just broke structure here therefore we're bearish but but on this happens a lot this that you see right here that we go yeah. down and then we continue going up because we need to check other time frames yeah in order to understand the direction the yeah. of the market here this is perfect um one hour we had a confirmation already down here Breaking structure to the downside and then breaking structure to the upside, and then having retracement to demand 
already possibly entering here, you know. Anyway, we went to the upside. What happens? Break a structure and again, demand area. Yeah. Then what do we have? Break a structure and again, demand area. Okay. So this trade is great. Um, also, keep in mind that, you know, many people just want to catch the first one down here. But I would say that the first one is the yeah, most. Yeah, th that's why I just find a few because I wanted to see the confirmations, yeah, uh, not right. only what. So, yeah. Right. Great. Because, you know, of course, you can take a trade here, but here is more risky. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, after we had some confirmation that we're going that direction, this was great. Yeah. Great trade. Yeah. Then we have GBUSD. Now, in, just by looking at the one hour, it makes sense what you're saying. Or also yeah. the other way around, where we break first down here, then we break to the upside. This becomes a good demand, and yeah. we could look for trades. Now, uh, as we were speaking, the one hour is not really enough in order to understand the direction, because as you can see, the, yeah. We look it up and then we go to the downside. It can be confusing if we don't check other time frames. Yeah, we will talk about it today. So, yeah. okay, here you had your break to the upside, break downside, possibly entering a demand. But for me, for example, this one is not a deep enough um, pull back because I would enter around here. So we didn't touch it and that's not a trade for me. Okay. Let me see. Okay, let's see. Perfect. So let's yep. go on charts. Let's go on charts and let's start talking about direction of the market which is the main thing now because you understood correctly supply and demand um we keep practicing it of course it's not like, like we, yeah. just, we just talked about it once and we want to talk about market structure now the structure of the market is we start from the basic is literally i think we had an introduction last time yeah we did have an introduction last time uh, this is a bullish bullish market structure created by you know lower sorry higher highs and higher lows yeah. where you have this low which is lower than the previous so this low which is higher than the previous one this high which is higher than the previous one therefore it is a bullish trend with higher highs and higher lows now at the yeah. same time this was our introduction at the same time we can have a bearish trend with lower lows and lower highs. Yes. Okay. Now, these and so on and so on without, I don't need to mark them all. Now, let me change color of this and let me show you. Now, we are talking in we're talking like this is one particular time frame. We're talking like this is either the, I don't know, four hours or the one hour, whatever. Let's say this is the four hours, four hours trend. Yeah. Now, inside the four hours trend, there is lower time frames trends. So, for example, one hour or 30 minutes or 15 minutes. So, for example, this can be the 15 minutes time frame trend. Higher highs, yeah. higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. And then it changes. As yeah. you can see, we create a lower high compared to the previous high. Then we create a lower low compared to the previous <clears> low. <throat> Sorry, a lower high compared to the previous high, lower low compared to the previous low. And we have a shorter bearish trend to then just continue with the trend. Okay. Yeah. So inside the overall trend, there are lower time frames count smaller trends. Yeah. And this is the same right here. So this is why in some examples you will see, you will so see all the almost uh, let, let's say your signal in the signal groups is you do always the small in that area. I start from the 
hard time frames, but then my entries are always uh, lower. Yes. Yeah. Um, now, here the problem is okay, the red one is the four hours. The green one, let's say, let's say is the one hour for your examples. Now, is that you might say, for example, right here, that you can see a change in direction. And you're like, okay, I want to enter cells. You find your area, whatever, and you look for cells. Then the price comes back. Maybe consolidates a little bit and continues to the upside. Now, why is this? Because maybe we are inside, we need to check if we are inside the overall bullish trend and you see just as a, small, um, a medium term or, or just a short term pullback like this, which seems yeah. like a reversal, but it's not. And then after it happened, we just continue to upset and it doesn't respect your analysis. And you're like, but why? But we were, we were bearish. We had confirmation, we had, you know, break, break the structure right here and everything that you want to say. Uh, but then we continue bullish and it doesn't make sense. It makes sense because overall, we might be bullish on the four hours. Yeah. And the same way that the four hours is inside the weekly. But to be honest, I don't, I'm not interested in the weekly time frame as we will go too, too much up and we will miss too many opportunities. For us yeah. to wait for you know a weekly chart so i start from the four hours maybe. yeah 